1 minus 2 times cosine squared of x plus cosine to the fourth of x. Now, I'm pretty sure you're like, all right, let's get this problem going on because a lot of the problems so far I've been doing, it's kind of just been using my trigonometric identities, and it's kind of been there. But now we have to use factoring and then use our trigonometric identities. So to factor this by looking at it, it might not be you know, all of a sudden kind of uh, not apparent, but uh, initially just kind of understood, oh, you can factor using here. So what I like to always do is sometimes rewrite this. So I have cosine of fourth to the x, kind of like in our descending order. Cosine fourth to the x minus 2 cosine squared of x plus 1. Now again, still you might be saying, I still just don't know how to factor this. So what I like to do is I like to rewrite this without my cosine. Let's forget about our trig for a second, and let's just pretend this is x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 1. And then you might still be saying, so God, I still don't really know what to factor with this. I'm still just having a problem with factoring. So then what I like to do is say, all right, well, let's replace this then. Let's have x squared equal 2x, all right? So if x squared is equal to x, that means x to the fourth is going to equal x squared. right? Because if you're going to take x squared equals x, if you square x squared, you get x to the fourth. Squaring x gives you x squared. So now we will rewrite this as x squared minus 2x plus 1. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is the simplest I can get for you to help you factor. All right. So by factoring this, um, you know, there's different methods to kind of show factoring. But hopefully you can see is what two numbers multiply to give you 1, but then are going to add to give you negative 2. So you can rewrite your factors as x uh, minus 1 times x minus 1. And x minus 1 times x minus 1, we can rewrite that as x minus 1 squared. All right. But before we even get to that point, let's uh, kind of work back and say, all right, so I understand x minus 1 squared, but how is that going to apply back to this problem? Well, let's go and take a look at it. First of all, we changed our x. So our x is now equal to our x squareds, right? And our x squareds are really equal to, um, our x squareds are really equal to our x to the fourths. And our x to the fourths are really equal to our, I'm sorry, our x's are equal to our, uh, OK, our x, here's my x, OK? And that's going to be equal to my x squareds, which my x squareds, we said, are now going to be equal to my x to the fourths. So therefore, what I can rewrite this is saying cosine squared of x minus 1 times cosine squared of x minus 1. And therefore, you, so you can rewrite this as cosine squared of x minus 1 squared. Now, by using my Pythagorean identities, I could see how can I rewrite the cosine squared of x minus 1 squared. So by using my trigonometric identities, I know that sine squared plus cosine squared of x equals 1. So if I was going to solve this, what I could see is by solving for my um, Solving for cosine minus 1, what I could do is I could subtract the sine squared of x on both sides. And therefore, I get cosine squared of x equals 1 minus the sine squared of x. And then subtracting the 1, I get cosine squared of x minus 1 equals negative sine squared of x. And one little thing real quick. Let's just double check this work so I can show it to you. Um, let's just check cosine squared times cosine squared of x is going to equal cosine to the fourth x. All right? And negative 1 times negative 1 will give you positive 1. So that's why we can always work back and to check that's our answer. However, so we have cosine squared of x minus 1. That's equal to negative sine of squared of x. So I can have negative sine squared of x squared. Well, now by kind of using, um, by distributing it through, I can now say this is going to be a positive sine um, to the fourth power of x. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's how you simplify trigonometric expression by factoring. Thanks.